From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Monday, March 28, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight, and this is what's going on. Here's the latest on the war in Ukraine. Russia's foreign minister says the presidents of Russia and Ukraine could meet for talks only after the key elements of a potential deal are negotiated. Sergei Lavrov said on Monday that the meeting is necessary once we have clarity regarding solutions on all key issues. Lavrov's comments follow Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's statement that he's ready to discuss Ukraine's neutrality and security guarantees with Russian President Vladimir Putin to secure peace without delay. Zelensky added that only a face-to-face meeting with Russia's leader could end the war. Russian and Turkish negotiators are set to hold another round of talks in Istanbul on Tuesday to try to draft an agreement. Speaking in an online interview with Serbian media, Lavrov alleged that Ukraine only wanted to imitate talks, while Russia needs specific results that would be secured by the country's leaders. In news closer to home, Rapid City Police say a suspected burglar is dead after an officer-involved shooting on Saturday. According to Rapid City Police Chief Don Hendrick, the Rapid City Police Department responded to a home on James Warren Drive shortly after 1.30 p.m. on March 26th. Officers were called for reports of a burglary in progress after a homeowner returned to his residence and believed it had been broken into and that someone may still be inside. At the homeowner's request, a group of six Rapid City police officers entered the residence and encountered a man with a long gun pointed at the officers in one of the rooms. Two Rapid City Police Department officers fired at the individual and he was pronounced dead at the scene. An investigation into the incident is underway. Governor Nome has blocked a bill giving lawmakers more control over federal funds. Amy Rose has more. Governor Kristi Noem has blocked a bill that would give legislators more control over spending federal aid. The governor announced Friday that she has vetoed the proposal. She wrote in her veto message to lawmakers that giving them more say over the spending would create a complicated process that would be hard to understand and track. She also noted that the bill never got a public hearing. The bill passed the House and Senate earlier this month with more than two-thirds support in each chamber. If that support holds, lawmakers could override the veto. The bill's supporters say more oversight is needed as the Biden administration pumps billions in pandemic relief and infrastructure development dollars to states. South Dakota tribal leaders met Saturday to discuss actions to take following inflammatory racial comments made by a Rapid City hotel owner at an event called the Indians Allowed Rally. The comments came after a shooting incident that took place at the Grand Gateway Hotel a week ago in which the hotel's owner said Native Americans were no longer allowed on the property. Tribal leaders of the Great Sioux Nation say they're prepared to boycott Rapid City and the hotel. They say they're also in discussion to move events like the Lakota Nation Invitational Basketball Tournament and Black Hills Pow Wow, which bring in millions of dollars in revenue for Rapid City. In national and international news, President Joe Biden stirred some of the first public cracks in transatlantic unity over the invasion of Ukraine with his comments in Warsaw that President Vladimir Putin cannot remain in power, tarnishing an otherwise successful four-day trip to Europe. He returned home early Sunday morning, where he faces political challenges, a stalled domestic agenda, and low approval ratings. Democrats are counting on him to regain his footing as they face a potentially punishing midterm election year, and Republicans are poised to take control of Congress. A wild and historic night last night at the Oscars, Chrissy Davies explains. After a movie year off in light with crowds, the Academy Awards named the unabashed crowd pleaser the deaf family drama Coda Best Picture Sunday, handing Hollywood's top award to a streaming service for the first time. The feel-good moment came after one of the most shocking moments in Oscars history. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on stage after the comedian made a joke about Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Rock made a joke about Pinkett Smith's shaved head. Pinkett Smith revealed in 2018 she was diagnosed with alopecia. She has often discussed the challenges of hair loss on Instagram and other social media platforms. The moment shocked the Dolby Theater audience and viewers at home. Smith was awarded Best Actor for his role in King Richard moments later and apologized to the Academy during his speech. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Partly cloudy with a high near 70 today and a low of 51 tonight. And that was your Daily Slice for Monday, March 28, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose and Chrissy Davies. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.